Hey, what's going on YouTube? Marine X back at it again. And listen, there are three immediate upgrades you need to do to your bug out vehicle in preparation for those crazy, never know what's gonna happen situations on your way to your bug out area. Now the first one here seems pretty obvious, but before we jump into that, if you're the type of person to, that likes to talk about survival stuff, man cave stuff, you know, tools, stuff like that, hit the subscribe button below, man. And listen, make sure you hit that like button as well if you get any if you feel like you're getting good content out of this video and finally absolutely join the discord channel we're in there talking about fuel shortages different things like that that's going on around the country that certain people have insight about so with that being said let's jump into the first one here so i like to call this my conceal crank and continue upgrades for your bug out vehicle the first one is pretty obvious right so this one here is the conceal portion of the bug out vehicle so this is a cover craft cover that i bought for my truck now this is specifically done for uh, one reason right not necessarily to protect my truck against weather or anything like that it does kind of go twofold that way but my specific bug out location is in a wooded area so when i finally make it to that location i can now put a cover on my vehicle and conceal my windows because those reflect light now i know that in nature there aren't really many things that are naturally black so i probably could have went with an olive drab or a different color but i did decide to go with the black color this is well-made fabric um, i bought it from covercraft.com i'll make sure i link them up below this is specifically let's see if we can get the manufacturer weather shield uh hp Never heard of these guys, but uh, you guys make a good cover. So that's definitely number one must do thing for your vehicle. Number two on the must do upgrades for your vehicle is on board air. Now here you can see I've installed the, the female end of the receiver chuck here, and I have the horn blasters on board air system going on here. It has the two of the i think they're both one gallon tanks there's two of them up there the air compressors in there as well but you know the reason i like having this on board is you know now i can con this goes to my continue portion of my actual setup so let's imagine that you are on the side of the road or you're in some other type of predicament now you're able to come over plug this in the back of the chuck here fully functioning air gauge right here and I can come back here air up my tires whatever I need to do that way I can continue on whatever mission I've set out for my vehicle and just like that you're able to you know hook up your hose and you know have your tire pressure gauge and throw air directly in your vehicle. So now if you're going off road, you know, you're in those type of situations where you're off road or maybe, you know, you're in a bug out location where you have to purposely let out air, whether it be sand, hunting, you know, rugged terrain, you can now re-air your tires. Or if you have that tire repair kit in your vehicle, which I know a lot of you guys have, you're able to do it, your own plug on your tire. You take your tire off, you do the plug, now you can air your tire up and not have to worry about you know waiting for AAA to come out especially in the bug out situation that's not something you're going to want to do we'll peel this cover off i'll show you guys what i think is probably the most important of the upgrades so let's just show you how easy the cover comes off real quick got this in a slip knot under here just simply untie that slip knot Cover comes off pretty quick. Just like that, you can take the cover off. So for this last upgrade, I'm gonna take you guys underneath the hood real quick. So we have here an electromagnetic pause protection system. Hopefully you guys can see that in there. 
install is really easy, man. You just hook it to the positive or negative of your terminals. You also need to ground it to the chassis of your vehicle. Now with the EMP shield, you have that ability to protect yourself, not only for EMP, which is highly unlikely, but there are governments with the capability, people with the capability, but you also can protect yourself from a lightning strike. So, you know, I got this from EMP shield dot com their emp shield has been tested in military vehicles they use it in mraps they use it in humvees jungle vehicles bradley's multiple applications it was an easy what like a five minute install really easy to do so you know it's definitely something that you might want to look into look into the install for for those purposes and you know how will you use these three upgrades so imagine right you do go through an emp strike and your vehicle is only one of the few vehicles working in the area, well, now you have the ability to crank it, right? Because you have the EMP shield, but now you might want to conceal it at least for a while. So you want to make sure you have the ability to throw the cover on there. And then of course the option to continue. So my three C's for a vehicle upgrade with onboard air on your vehicle. All three of those I think are important. Hey, but what are your ideas, man? What are some type of things that you think are immediately needed for a bug out vehicle upgrade? And once again, if you're new here, man, join the battalion. Just, just push that button below. We would more than love to have you on the team. If you've came back again, hey, I appreciate y'all coming back again. In the meantime, if you like stuff like this, click, click here. I'm gonna put some videos up of other survival gear. You can check that stuff out and watch it till you pass out. In the meantime, I appreciate y'all coming back. We'll speak soon.